Hi golfers, Nick here from Nick Taylor Golf. It's Friday, so welcome to another lesson on golf tips. Down at the Aintree store today, at American Golf. So you may have seen my recent vlogs I did at the BMW Championship at Wentworth. So I was there with American Golf, coaching all week, had a fantastic week. You saw some of the vlogs, had loads of fun. Also, I worked quite hard as well. I did quite a lot of lessons in those six days. Over those six days, I think I did around about 100 lessons. You may have seen this picture I posted on social media. So I've got 81 pictures here of before and after swings. So I just wanted to show, sort of share with you guys what's possible in sort of like 10, 15 minute lessons. That's all we had throughout the day, but there's potential to make big change. I'm gonna talk about what I found um, during the week, some things that may help you guys out there uh, with your golf swings or your technique or your philosophy in the golf swing, whatever that may be. So behind me here is, is more of a sort of common picture that I was sort of seeing uh, in the lessons. Now, in 100 golf lessons, uh, and I'll watch other people coach, listen to what people are working on, and people, uh, when they come to their lesson, I'm always work, asking them questions about their game, what, what they're struggling with, what they're doing well, what, if they're having lessons, etc. And out of those 100 people, um, a lot of people are working on setup and grip especially, you get that mentioned quite a lot. I think throughout the six days, I think I worked on one person's grip. So if you think about 100 people, it's not a high percentage, is it? And when we talk about the golf swing, a lot of people think grip is a major fundamental and really it does vary from person to person. I've talked about this before. You look at last year's Open Champion, Spieth, very weak grip on his left hand. And then you look at the previous year's winner, Zach Johnson, his left hand's almost turned around almost 90 degrees the other way. So you've got two of the best players in the world holding it completely differently. So grip's not necessarily the most important thing, uh, but a lot of people do focus on it quite a lot, I found. Now, this is what I found was the major issues at impact. So you can see in the background, I've just picked, selected six pictures there from the uh, few days I was there. I've got quite a few of these. This is just sort of just post impact. So you can see the hands are just, just about on the inside, what's middle of the, the left thigh, uh, left hander there. Uh, what you can see, uh, first of all, is the flexing of the arms in all of the cases. You can see all of them have flexed the arms and when they set up, they all had them reasonably straight. So you can see they've changed that alignment at um, impact and that's where you see a lot of people topping the golf ball and you speak to golfers, they have, a, they have lessons and they're working on their swing and they may top a shot. And I'd say to them, why, why do you think you top that one? And, and the most common answer is, I lifted up or lifted my head or looked up or whatever it is. And you can see there, the most common issue I see is people flexing the arms. Now, this does a couple of things. Uh, you can see, see the bend in the left wrist here. So cupping that left wrist back um, it does a couple of things. It affects the low point of the swing. It generally causes you to hit behind the golf ball uh, or thin it. Uh, but also it opens the club face, adds loft, loses power, loses strike as well. So cupping the left wrist just through impact is a big no-no and you, you'll tend to associate that with high shots, weak shots that don't maybe go as far. So if we take a look at what an impact position at this point should look like. Okay, so in the background I've just pulled up Grant Wade. And what you can see, first of all, is again, hands just on the like, middle of the left thigh, just leaving uh, the impact area. What you can see is a straight line down the left arm, down the shaft. It's going to give him a solid impact position. He's not opening the club face. You can see arms are pretty straight at this point. You'll generally find that there may be some slight flexing in the right elbow at this point at impact, but just post impact, you'd see the arms pretty straight. You can see um, slight tilt of the body. So you can see with the head to the belt buckle. So you can see how his weight is pushing forward. His left wrist is flat. Uh, his head stayed in position. You see a lot of people at that point almost leaning back. I'll show you a good example. So you can see the lady here almost leaning back to almost trying to help the boy up into the air. I see that a lot. One of the most common issues I see is more strike related than necessarily a lot of things that people are working on in their golf swing. A lot of people are working on how to hold it, how to stand, keeping their head down. But really they should be looking at where the weight is, uh, how straight the arms are. Uh, just look, notice this lady here feet very square to the target, uh, she's struggling to move her weight through. Now a lot of people I worked on in their setup was feet positions, so we're going to look at that now. Okay, so there's some setup positions, so uh, at the top here, uh, what you can see is um, with this lady here, you can see how he pushed the hands forward, 
almost presetting that impact position. Uh, you can see with this lad here, you can see he's more tilted over the ball. I found and worked on that with a few people. A lot of people stand to the golf almost too upright with the head or the chin up too high, but really it needs to be more over the golf ball, more at a better angle to the ground to, to, to strike the ground. Rather than standing too upright, you'll tend to swing more in a flatter sort of angle, which would struggle with your strike. So I see a lot of golfers almost standing too upright with the head up. So it works a little bit on setup with people, trying to be more tilts in the body. Uh, quite a few people worked on feet position. Uh, example here and there, you can see how I've uh, started to get these people to turn their feet out, and that's quite important. I've did that, I told a lot of people. Probably the most common thing I told people was actually to turn their feet out of the dress, and that will help you with your rotation and to take stress off the knee and the ankle in the swing. So, some good examples there. Uh, got a couple of uh, takeaway positions here on the side. Uh, this guy, you can see the club head inside the hands, this one massively inside the hands. That, that was a quite a big exaggeration. You can see I've, I use the grid in all these lessons with the strings. Uh, you can see, uh, we talked about this before, um, hand path and club path. So with this one here, I move the string out to so get him the sensation of taking the club head out and so, outside the hands. But what is important, a lot of people working on takeaway, is they almost try and go too out with the hands and the arms if they're getting the club in behind them. And realistically, you want the hands still coming in on the arc but keeping the club out. And that's what I was trying to get this guy to do in that picture. Okay, so move on to some uh, backswing positions. So P4, I worked on quite a lot of P4s out throughout the week, probably uh, the biggest before and after changes were at P4. I think for a lot of people, it's an easy, easy reference point, um, easy to relate to. Now, some of the things I noticed um, in these golfers, just got a few examples here. I've got uh, quite a few of these P4 positions, but uh, just a couple here. Um, so this guy lifting the arms, so I'm keeping the club there, trying to stop his arms from lifting. Um, other people we worked a little bit on uh, the way the knee flex changes. Uh, if you look at knee flex, knee flex, knee flex, knee flex there, knee flex there, a little bit more extra knee flex there. So a lot of golfers have worked on how to turn the hips on the angle by changing the knee flex. Worked on that with a lot of people trying to get more hip turn. A lot of people resist in their swing, uh, not really turning the hips. Uh, but by straightening that back leg, it just allows that hip to turn more behind you, uh, which gives you more freedom for the swing. Uh, this was a really good one. Uh, this guy here, uh, he worked on these external rotation of his right forearm, so you can see that was the length of his swing. Uh, and from there, he was tending to get quite steep on the ball. Um, he didn't hit it very far. He worked on, the, on his right external rotation, trying to get his He's right, you can see the different position of his right forearm there. I was trying to get him almost feeling like that, almost like he's holding a tray, like the way it would hold a tray. Uh, this lady here, I'm holding her head. So I was trying to get her to get the right angle to the ground, trying to get her shoulders to come down. She was tending to lift up this way. And you, I see that a lot throughout the week. Almost golfers almost moving off the ball, which then get, again makes it hard to make consistent contact. Okay, again, similar sort of P4 positions. Again, you can see knee flex changing a little bit more. Uh, this girl here, you can see how high her left arm was. Uh, you can see I'm just holding, I'm actually holding the club on either side of the swing here, trying to stop her from going too high going back and too high on the finish, trying to keep her swing a little bit lower, a bit flatter. Uh, this, this lady didn't really use her body, so I'm trying to get her to use her shoulders to bring the club up as she swung back. But yeah, again, similar sort of things you're starting to see with a lot of these golfers, uh, knee flex, hip turn. Uh, some slight different angles from P4, so um, quite a good one here uh, at the bottom with this with this guy. He, he could only get his left arm to here, and the way he moved his body was almost keeping his chest down. So I said to him, "You want to feel like as his shoulder goes down, his chest goes up, and that will just give him a little bit more uh, freedom for the golf swing." Again, some more knee flex changes. Uh, this lady was quite a new golfer. You can see I started to get to use her body to bring the club up as opposed to, I saw this a lot with beginners, almost like take, to take the club back, almost flexing the arms to lift the club up rather than using their body. So trying to get them to feel like their shoulder gives them a bit of a sense of the hands. Some more knee flex change in there. So some, some common issues. Um, Brian Lyra down there. He's, uh, he's, Thoughts on the swing was to try and load the right and we tried to work on that a little bit, try and stop him from loading the right as much. Okay, some more P4 changes here. 
Uh, again, with this scale here, you can see that arm was lifting quite high. So I'm just holding the club, trying to keep it a bit lower. Um, another girl here, just first lesson. Again, just trying to almost pick the club up by flexing the arms. Uh, it's Chloe there, trying to trying to stop her from moving off the ball as much. Uh, this this guy was quite a good one. Um, you can see he's, the the angle his body is different on this picture. He's obviously a left hander. He was sort of keeping the chest down again. He was struggling to get his arm around. So again, I was getting to feel like this chest was coming up. And he swung back. Get another left hand again. A lot of people restricting their swings can't get the left arm or the right arm in this guy's case round his body far enough because the way he moved his spine. Okay, so P6 changes. So some really good ones throughout the week. So I'd see this a lot. The club head inside the hands, much better position there. Again, club head inside the hands, much better position there. Again, club head inside the hands, much better position there. Um, same thing here as well, and there as well. See this a lot through the week. So the club head inside the hands at this point at P6, and you see a lot of people almost trying to deliver the club from the inside. And in doing so, it affects a couple of things. So, see golfers trying to deliver the club from the inside, almost trying to hit a draw, or trying to hit into out, and they'll, they'll end up almost either tilting the body back, which moves, does move the swing direction to the right, but also affects the low point. And see a lot of people almost tilting back with their head to help move the path out to the right, and that affects uh, low point of the swing being back. Um, and almost a lot of people that were, were trying to get rid of a slice, I was actually getting them to swing more across the ball um, to improve the strike. Because the most important thing, first of all, is strike. You're not going to hit everything straight. You watch the golfers on tour. They don't hit every fairway, every green, but they always make good contact. So a lot of these lessons working on improving the strike and position just leading into impact is really key. If it's too far from the inside, uh, you can struggle with direction uh, and you can struggle a lot with the strike. So P6 position is quite important. Using the grid for that. Uh, and a lot of these cases um, I'm holding the club either side of the arc, depending on which one it is. This guy on the follow through, uh, this guy on the back swing, I'm just holding his head as well. So this guy here, quite a good one, you can see his knee flex change, but I'm holding his head, so stopping him from tilting back and also holding the club there to keep him inside that. So some really good changes there, P6. Okay, just moving on to P, uh, P, some P7s and some P8s, almost some P9s here as well. So you can see some of these impact positions, some of these follow through. Uh, big change there from that lady. See how much straighter her arms are. She's not tilting back as much. Uh, this lady here at the top middle, you can see how she's moved her weight through a lot better, as did this guy and this guy. Again, this guy's trying to keep his head down. You see that a lot as well. Golfers almost trying to keep the head down, and actually, you watch the best players, their head's turning through towards the target by that point. Again, lady here not transferring her weight, a bit flexing the arms. Uh, this guy, you see how he's leaning back. Here, much better change there at P7. Almost leaning back, trying to scoop it. See that a lot. Okay, so just looking at some finished positions here. Some, some P9, some P10. So again, weight moving through the golf ball. Uh, a lot of people worked a bit on their exit. You can see hands between the shoulder and the head. Hands exiting below the shoulder. Again, similar position here and there. So see this a lot as well. Golfers, the exit position being too, too high on the finish rather than following the arc and completing the circle and the swing. So it works on that a lot with people, just trying to improve um, club path, uh, exit, strike. And finally, just uh, the last picture on the finish position again, you can see I'm holding a lot of these top four corner pictures. You can see I'm holding clubs on the front side of the arc, trying to make sure the golfer swings around the corner rather than up the top. Uh, that's the girl we saw earlier, who had the very high back swing. And then she had a very high follow through as well, so just keeping the clubs either side just to make sure she swings around the arc. So that's pretty much all the, the pictures we've just gone through pretty quickly there. So there's obviously 81 changes there, quite a lot uh, through the week. Hopefully it's given you some bit of insight into what I see on a day-to-day -day basis, what I see in a group of lessons. So just to sort of recap there, a lot of golfers working maybe on things that maybe not necessarily going to help their game. A lot of people working on maybe the grip, trying to swing from the inside and really should be focusing a little bit more on the strike. Look what the best players do at impact. Flat left wrist, weight on the left, arms straight as they go through. You don't see many of the top players flexing the arms, weight being back. Don't see that very often. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you've learned something from that. You've got any questions, post them in the box below. If you don't already, please follow me on other social media platforms such as Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. Thank you.